I ever do to you? Hello, hello, hello. So as part of the new beginner tutorial process I want to go through, um, for Fallout 4, if you want to manage this game and come in, if you want to clear out your mod space, if it's all packed up, jammed up, whatever, if you're having problems with it and you just want to clear everything and start from scratch, um, what you can do here is you hit your big X button and it brings up your little recent menu if you're like me it's on you don't have to do it this way you can do it on the like the uh, whatever you would call the desktop or whatever but um but this is an easy way to do it you just hit start highlight fallout 4 even on your desktop this would work or what do they call that the console anyway it doesn't really matter you just hit start the start button and it brings up this little menu and you just go down here to manage game and add-ons and just click A on your controller. It's going to bring bring you to here. What you want to look at is the saved items, the saved data. There are three items here. Now this is going to look a little different than Skyrim, okay? So you highlight that. I'm sorry. You highlight the saved data and you click your A button again. Now it's going to bring you here and it's going to show you more than likely, if you have any game saves, it's going to show you that. You, you can tell I'm on the toaster's machine. And if you don't have um, any game saves, then you won't have that. But I imagine that most of the time you're going to have something. It might even create a little stub for you when you first install the game. I don't really remember or pay that much attention. Now, there's two reserve space. This is the one that matters. This is the one that's two gigabytes. It's going to hold your mods. Okay? This reserve space, I'm not sure what it is about or what it is for. They didn't really say, and I tried to look it up, and no one gave me a clear answer. It might be that it is the table of contents for this. You know, it could be the game keeping track of your, your mod space, but I don't know that for sure. So, anyway, you don't have to clear this. Um, now, it could be that for, if this involves Creation Club, which I wouldn't think it would... But if it does, you might need to clear it to clear your Creation Club entries. Just a thought. I really thought that if we cleared our uh, reserve space, that would clear the Creation Club as well. Because it does in Skyrim. But, again, as I was saying, there appears to be a slight difference here. Now, I really think when you clear this, you're going to get rid of your mods. Now, how you clear it is you highlight what you want to clear. Like, you can clear all your saved games. I'm going to highlight... The toaster saved games. I'm going to click A and it's going to come up and say, Oh, do you really want to do this? If you delete it from console, it's just going to remove the saved games from your console. They'll still be on the cloud save. If you do delete everywhere, it's going to remove all of them from the cloud save and from your console. Now, I would just recommend not doing either of these unless you have a very good reason. It is much easier just to go in the game and delete any saves you don't want from the game itself. I, at least I think it is. And it's a little safer too. Because if you mess up, you're only going to lose like one game save or something. So that's just my thoughts on it. Have fun. All right. So this one, I don't even think I would mess with this since I don't know what it is. Okay. I have, I gave you my guesses, but I don't know what it is. You can click on it. You can delete it. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to get rid of it. Now, this is the reserve space. This is your mod space. And I, I still believe that the Creation Club stuff is here, too. Okay? Now, if you highlight that and click A, you get the chance to clear your reserve space. This will get rid of all your mods. And it, will, it should clear all your Creation Club items as well. So that then you'll have a very, very vanilla game. Okay? Now, you can go back, of course, and get those back, but this would be something you would do maybe if you're like, look, I just, I want to start over. I want to start from scratch. I don't want to go in and individually remove every mod, and I want to make sure my space is as clear and clean and neat as possible. So that's what I would do, is I would clear that. Now, I'm not going to do that. This is the toaster's machine, and I have a, a game there. Now, later, we may go into that and, and monkey around with it, but for right now, for the purposes of this little tutorial, I just wanted to show you how to come in and clear that mod space if you needed to or if you wanted to. Now, you don't have to. Fallout 4 actually has been 
a little better. It's still not perfect, but it's been a little better than Skyrim in that I don't normally get, um, you know, everybody calls it ghost space. I don't normally get that fragmented space as much with Fallout 4. Usually, um, I can go into Fallout 4 and I can remove mods and add mods back and I don't, I don't have that memory locking up on me, um, that space, but just in case it happens to you or if something else happens and, you know, if you, if you lost power at an inadvertent moment or if you lost your internet connection at a bad time, you know, anything that might mess your mod space, your reserve space up, this, this allows you to clear it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop there and, uh, I'm going to continue on with these these series of tutorials, but this was just something I wanted to do real quick and make sure I had it out there for you. So, all right. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. Woo! I'm jumping Jack Flash. Woo! -hoo. Come and catch me. Come and catch me. Whoa! -ha -ha. This has been an How That's March production. <laughs> <laughs>